It was an ordinary sunny day in New York. The Hydra villains were standing on the dock and discussing a new plan to take over the world. Their communication was interrupted by Hawkeye. He had one question. He was looking for a Black Widow. The Hydra people immediately opened fire on him. But Hawkeye knew what he was doing and scattered the villains around while he fought with Hydra soldiers. The main villains were able to escape. Suddenly a Hydra helicopter flew up and reported that Hawkeye was detained and that Nick Fury wanted to talk to him. Fury told Hawkeye not to hunt people from Hydra anymore, as people from the S.H.I.E.L.D. agency were doing this, Hawkeye left without listening to the end of Fury and was about to leave when suddenly Captain America stopped him from behind and warned that it was very dangerous to fight Hydra alone, but suddenly a woman came up from behind, in the past she was a pilot of Hawkeye, but then Hawkeye left the organization and they separated, now she wanted to work together with Hawkeye again and Hawkeye accepted her, she even came up with a pseudonym for herself now her name was Mockingbird. It turns out that when Hawkeye last saw Hydra, he stuck a tracking bug to one of them. They took off by plane and were already flying up to one of the Hydra bases, Hawkeye and Mockingbird immediately attacked the base, Mockingbird had very good combat skills and could deal with a crowd of villains, but unfortunately it didn't help, they were captured and taken away by plane. But not everything is so simple, it turns out that Hawkeye specifically succumbed to being put on a plane and taken by plane to the main base of Hydra, and the Avengers plane was flying behind them, in which Captain America and Black Panther were sitting and they followed the Hydra plane. But suddenly the Hydra plane became invisible and Captain America lost them from the radar, now Hawkeye and his partner will have to get out of this place themselves. Meanwhile, Hawkeye and his partner were put in Hydra prison, but Hawkeye managed to open it and they managed to signal the Avengers where they are and the Avengers immediately flew out. They thought they had already got out and ran into the last room, but they were surrounded by a lot of Hydra soldiers, but they were not going to give up, at that time Black Panther and Captain America broke in, they helped Hawkeye, since now the coordinates of this Hydra base were known, then the people from Hydra would need to leave it, but they did smarter and launched the self-destruction of this building. The Avengers were in danger, they had to get out and they succeeded. A few days passed and Tony Stark and Captain America were sitting in the kitchen, they agreed to go down to the training room and find out who has the best fighting skills, Captain America easily won Tony Stark since Tony was without his suit. Meanwhile, Thor, along with the Wasp Woman, caught one criminal and were going to put him in a prison from which it was impossible to escape, Tony Stark created this prison, there was one entrance and exit from this prison and it was a portal, you could enter this portal using a card that every Avenger had. Meanwhile, Captain America and Iron Man were standing in the basement and talking when suddenly a portal opened in the wall and a villain flew out of it, he called his name, his name was Kong, he said that he was from the future and flew to kill Captain America, there were many who wanted to kill the captain and they thought that this was one of the usual villains, the battle began, but they could not defeat him, he anticipated all their attacks and could teleport. But Kong did not wait for other Avengers, the rest of the Avengers arrived and the Hulk managed to capture Kong, then Kong said that he had arrived in the 41st century and that he was the ruler in his time and world, a violation in the space-time continuum destroyed his reality, but he managed to figure out who was the cause of the anomaly that arose in the flow of time. This is the one who shouldn't exist in the 21st century, and it was Captain America. Kong moved them into the future with the help of his chair and showed what would become of the world, everything would be destroyed and on fire. Kong said that a war will soon begin in their world and it will consume everything and even the sun and it will destroy all life on the planet. But the Avengers could not give Captain America and everyone ran to attack, while all the Avengers were fighting, Iron Man tried to hack the chair on which Kong flew, he did it and he moved everyone back to planet Earth. It was an ordinary sunny day, the sky was blue when suddenly several space shuttles appeared in the sky, they began to drop bombs with robots and began to destroy the city. It was Kong who did it, he wanted to conquer this world since his world had already been destroyed. The S.H.I.E.L.D. airship and its army flew to protect the city, the Avengers did not light themselves up, they began to destroy the robots, but the robots arrived and there were more and more of them, the Avengers used all their weapons and they used it to the maximum. Fury informed Iron Man that robots are not only attacking New York and not the whole world, there have been alarm messages from all over the planet. Then Fury gathered a council at which they came to the conclusion that this war could be stopped if only to capture Kong, but Kong could be on any of the ships. Meanwhile, Hawkeye and the Hulk destroyed the robots on the bridge, when suddenly these robots began to unite into one and now it was more difficult to destroy them, but Thor flew to the rescue and his hammer of Thor destroyed them with one blow. At the same time, Iron Man was trying to find the villain Kong through satellites. Captain America said that this was a war and they needed an army for this war, 
the wasp woman knew where to get it from, in that prison from which it was impossible to get out that Tony Stark created there were robots that looked so that the villains did not escape and there were many of them, Ant-Man reprogrammed them and now the robots were set up to fight. Stark's robots were already in the city and were fighting the robot villains, now there were at least some chances. Ant-Man and Wasp Woman had already sneaked onto the space shuttles to study their technologies, but the ship abruptly disappeared and Ant-Man began to fall, it was good that the Wasp Woman could fly and she picked up Ant-Man and thereby saved him. The Avengers began to destroy the enemy's space shuttles one by one, and these shuttles began to disappear, they managed to stop the villains, but there was still a war all over the world that needed to be stopped. Meanwhile, Iron Man has found Kang's airship in space, it remains only to get to him and stop him. Iron Man provided all the Avengers with costumes in which they could be in space, they boarded their plane and flew into space to Kang's spaceship, and meanwhile Kang's aircraft was preparing to shoot laser beams into the earth to destroy it, but Thor caused lightning and hit this laser so that this laser beam returned back into Kang's spaceship and inflicted heavy damage. They made their way onto the ship now it's just left to stop Kang. But not everything was so simple, the best Kong fighters came out to them, their technology was much better than that of the Avengers and they easily scattered superheroes around, but the Avengers found an approach to the villains and dealt with them. They made their way into one compartment and there was a time machine with which Kong could travel through time, it had to be destroyed to stop Kong, but Kong was not going to give up just like that and he himself went out to fight the Avengers, since Iron Man had fully studied modern Kong technologies, he easily defeated him but it was still necessary to disable the time machine, Tony Stark created a robot specifically for this, this robot hacked the time machine and moved the Kong army back, to their destroyed planet, now the robot knew all the codes that the time machine consists of. The Avengers also found an elderly woman on Kang's airship, she was exhausted and was not conscious.